Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on The Flash Season 5, and it's going to be sort of like a theory video. I've got a bunch of theories I'm going to be going over from some new information that was kindly given to me, and I was made aware of it by Eric's Reloaded, so go check him out in the link in the description below, because if you guys haven't subscribed, he's a great YouTuber, you have to watch him and subscribe. But anyway, he got it from Reddit, and so he just made me aware of it. So, yeah, this is what we're going to be talking about, and I'm sure you know roughly from the title. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so recently, and this was, I believe, last week, or maybe the last few weeks or something, but definitely recently, Matt Letcher, who plays Reverse Flash normally on the TV show, obviously not in Season 1, but you saw him on Legends, you saw him various times, like he returned in Season 2, so he's essentially the other version, not the Tom Cavanaugh version of Reverse Flash, so, you know, his normal appearance when he's not using the Harrison Wells persona, and so he was actually spotted on set recently, I think for a couple of days or like a week, and he was on set for The Flash, which is really exciting, and so we've got some theories as to what's going on, and some people online have some theories, which I'll go over as well, and so, yeah, he was spotted in Vancouver recently, you know, when they were shooting, and they were shooting episode 19, and if you remember, episode 18 is the Godspeed episode, he's going to be appearing, so note that down, remember that in your mind, and also, it was also leaked recently, which I don't know if it's correct or not, but, you know, it sort of lends into the theories I'm going to be talking about a bit, that Godspeed is going to be recurring throughout the back half of the season. Well, the later back half, not like, you know, what we've already gone through already. But apparently, according to that leak, he's going to be recurring and he's going to go into season six. So that means potentially he's going to be around for more than just episode 18 and this lends into the theories which I'll get to right now so the first theory and this is what people online have been thinking you know where the leak actually came from on reddit this is you know what they were theorizing about and so people think Godspeed might be a version of Eobard Thorn. so also there was supposed photos that are going to be coming out very soon with him being on set, with Matt Letcher being on set. So, let's answer this. So, is Godspeed a version of Heobard Thorn? And so, I think there is a possibility that that could be happening because, again, he is a speedster, and why would Matt Letcher be on set if he wasn't playing a character? Obviously, you know, he's Reverse Flash, so we'll talk about more to do with Reverse Flash in a second, but this is a bit more far-fetched, and this is what people have been thinking about and talking about online. So, could he be Godspeed? I think there is a slim chance that he could play, like, a different version of himself, but he's, you know, Eobard from another Earth, but he's playing Godspeed, you know, similar to how Henry Allen on our Earth, on another Earth, his doppelganger is Jay Garrick, he's a speedster, totally different, right? But same look. So, I think this could be a way for them to actually, you know, incorporate Godspeed into the Reverse Flash storyline this season. I don't know, but I think it's a little bit far-fetched, but I think it's a very fun theory that I would love to see happen, but again, just think about that for now. Leave a comment about your thoughts to do with that theory. Again, I'm not too confident that would happen, but let's move on to theory number two. So, Matt, Letcher, who plays Reverse Flash, could be playing our Season 5 Eobard Thorn, or another version of Eobard, which would be very cool either way, but, so, is our Tom Cavanaugh version that we've been seeing this entire season going to be switched into Matt Letcher, or, which I think is a bit more likely, this is another version of Eobard Thorn, because I think they're going to stick with Tom Cavanaugh for the rest of the season, and if Matt's only around for a certain amount of time, he won't be able to sort of play it out, and I think they're going to stick with Tom this season, and so maybe he's shooting scenes with Tom's 2049 Reverse Flash, and maybe the version of the Reverse Flash that Matt is playing is going to be, you know, further from the future, or like in the past or something, 
and maybe they meet and so will they meet for the first time I think that's a very exciting concept because they've never done that they've only like switched into each other at the end of season one so is Matt and Tom going to be you know sharing scenes together which would be a first time so that would be very exciting like the concept of two reverse flashes meeting maybe it's due to Tom's reverse flash you know he's got the countdown which we'll talk about later in this video that he needs to actually go somewhere and maybe he needs to find this version of reverse flash or maybe this other version played by Matt Letcher comes to him I don't know why I don't think there's any sort of solid evidence to suggest this could happen but I think the theory is very exciting and I think that's more of a possibility than perhaps him playing a version of Godspeed although I think it has a slim chance that it could happen alright so let's move on to theory number three and so Godspeed is in this case your Bard Thorn and this sort of links into theory number two a bit more but I'm going to elaborate a bit more and he is a version from another timeline or from the future after the changes that Nora has made so after him and Nora you know they've made these changes but as you saw in the last episode the timelines changing and they can't really control it actually too well compared to what they thought they could as evidence in the last episode you know with Godspeed coming maybe this is another instance and maybe this version of Eobard who is Godspeed perhaps and he is a direct result of their changes to the timeline especially that Nora has made and so maybe he's perhaps even further from the future because you know as to what was said recently from the leaks you know when Godspeed was on set apparently he kills the speedster and he comes back in time and so he's evidently further from the future and maybe he becomes Godspeed because of you know a sequence of events that changes him and twists him and you know makes him want to kill these species to absorb all the energy to become the best and most powerful speedster in all of history so I think that's a possibility that this is perhaps you know Eobard who is Godspeed but from another timeline or from further in the future you know a different time remnant of himself because we know there's tons of them out there and that's how he can sort of keep on surviving they haven't explained how 2049 reverse flash is still around apart from he is perhaps the version from crisis on earth x like last year and so i don't know but what do you think of those theories to do with godspeed and thorn i think they're plausible i think they could happen but i think most likely more than not it's going to just be you know a different version of reverse flash that matt's going to be playing compared to what tom's playing currently in 2049 maybe they'll have the scenes together like i was theorizing but anyway so i talked about this briefly a while ago but i'm going to bring it up again because i didn't really get to talk about it in my trailer breakdown the other day but it's you know featured quite prominently in the trailer and this is the countdown timer and what it could potentially mean so i'm just going to bring it up again because you know this is next episode i didn't get to talk about it much in the trailer breakdown and so it says the timer is on 12 minutes and he has 12 minutes left to go before something happens we have no idea what it is obviously the first thing that comes to mind is like death row so he's gonna you know be executed or he's gonna die within 12 minutes and the timer is running down pretty fast and it seems like whatever their plan is it's all going downhill and that's why Nora reveals herself and Eobard Thorn to her dad you know to potentially get help it seems like that because in episode 18 they go to the future and they are both there and so Barry is obviously there to help and maybe it is to do with Godspeed like maybe they created Godspeed because of their you know incapability of controlling the timeline from all these changes so I think yeah one option is is death row or the other option which I really like is that the metahuman cure is administered in 12 minutes as it said in the trailer and so he has no powers anymore and I think that would be a really strong motivation why he would want to you know help stop Cicada so bad or the other option is Cicada is actually coming for him and he knows he's about to die and he's on the run from Cicada and this future version of Cicada has come to kill him. I don't know how he would know. Again, I think this is a bit far-fetched compared to the other ones. But yeah, I think he's definitely helping Nora either in fear or he's doing it to manipulate and, you know, help Nora 
but so that Nora helps him in the end so it all works out. So, or it could be something else, something completely different. What they teased last episode that was a thing or like a person is actually coming and trying to break through the prison. And so obviously time's moving really slow because Nora is coming back and forth from the future. So that's why the time has taken so long, just in case you didn't know about that. And so this thing or person could be the thing on the timer. Again, a bit far-fetched, but I think it's an interesting idea to put forward that maybe after 12 minutes, Godspeed comes in and Godspeed kills him or something like that. You know, he knows the timeline. He knows, you know, at what specific time maybe he dies or his speed's taken away by Godspeed because, as you know, Godspeed kills all the speedsters. That's been confirmed. He's going to be killing this speedster called Leah and he's going to be trying to kill Nora at one point. We know that, that there's a massive chase scene. So maybe it's that 12 minute mark is when Godspeed comes and kills him and takes his speed. So I think that's interesting. Think on that and let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about these countdown timer theories like as to what's happening? But also, what do you think about my theories to do with Matt Letcher being in town, you know, recording, being on set? So, yeah, I know some of them are far-fetched, but it's a theory video, you know, we don't have to be concrete. We can sort of just ramble on and talk about, you know, what potentially could be happening. And I really do actually like doing these videos because I get to sort of just spill whatever's coming out of my mind and I find it exciting. I don't know about you guys, but... Anyway, so leave a like if you like this video, also subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any videos, also follow me on Twitter or Instagram at the DC TV show, same as my YouTube name, I'm really active over there just in case some of you guys aren't already following me there. So anyway guys, I will see you guys later, goodbye.